Welcome to Math and Tracks. Let's go through an example of a parabolic partial differential equations, such as heat equation. This equation originally was studied by Fourier in 18th century. The physical interpretation is that if we have a certain piece of rod, and if we start heating it up at some point, the temperature across the rod will increase with time, giving a parabolic shape. Equally, if we let a heated piece of rod to cool down, the temperature across that rod will drop. A parabolic shape is exhibited by the contour curves. It means that this equation is dependent of space and time. Change in either of these two will cause temperature shift. In this case too, the boundary conditions must be given along with initial conditions. Let's consider an example the parameter u is specially and timely dependent we have some initial conditions and boundary conditions under certain range is shown there are two methods to solve these equations by either using forward divided difference formula which termed as explicit method, or using backward divided difference formula, which terms as an implicit method. Let me first try with the explicit method. The special step size is 0.5, and time step size is 0.05 seconds. The total time period is 0.1 seconds. So let's make some grading points known as discretization. Apply the initial conditions at the bottom layer and boundary conditions on the right and left side. So there are six unknown points such as node 11, 12, 21, 22, 31 and 32. Discretize the given equation using forward differential equation for time t and central differential formula for space x. So making arrangement, we get a governing equation A. To write equation for node 11, using governing equation, equate i to 1 and j to 0 we get the unknown term u11 as shown. See what points you need in order to find u11. One at the immediate bottom, one at the right bottom, and the third point that's needed to be known is at the left bottom. Similarly for node 12 and the rest of 8. By using your calculator, type the immediate bottom point as b, the right bottom point as c, and the left bottom point is A, while the unknown point U11 will be represented as X. So after typing this equation and using the calculation key, you can find all the unknown points within minimum amount of time. Now to find node 21, we need to know node 20, node 30, and node 10. In fact, these should be known from the initial and boundary given conditions. Using these three known values, we can figure out point 21. Keep in mind that if the bottom is B, right bottom is C, and left bottom is A. Similarly for point U31, there are three known points, U20, U30, U40, and so on. Now let's make the use of calculator. 
type the governing equation for unknown parameter x in term of a, b and c. Use the same equation for rest of the points. Keep in mind what is the left, bottom and right. So you saw in the explicit method there is no need for making a system of equation because each unknown variable can be expressed in terms of all known variables and can be calculated immediately without going to the next equation. So no matrix generation. Now let's try by using implicit method which we get as a result of Baker differential formula for time t and central differential formula for spatial x. We obtain the governing equation A. Now in this case, insert I equal to 1, J equal to 1. This is equation for node 11. Similarly, equation for node 21 comes by inserting I equal to 2 and J equal to 1. Here you should be able to say what points you need to be known to find the unknown point. For instance, to find point 21, you need to know point 31 at the right, point 11 at the left, and point 21 at the bottom. But as these are unknown, therefore we can't solve each equation immediately, but rather make a system of equations. I hope you have got the point by now. So six unknown nodes and six equations. Here comes the six by six matrix. So by using MATLAB or Mathematica you can see the comparison between these two methods such as explicit and implicit. Of course implicit is more accurate than explicit method but need more power and computer use mostly the implicit method because it just allowed to solve metrics rather than equations. Ah, it was tartsome no doubt but I think I have got it. Thanks for watching.